GPT-5 is insane. I, I have been most impressed by the coding tasks. I mean, there's a lot of other things it's really good at, but this, I, this idea of the AI can write software for anything, and that means that you can express ideas in new ways that the AI can do very advanced things. It can do, you know, it can like, in, in some sense, you could like ask GPT-4 anything, but because GPT-5 is so good at programming, it feels like it can do anything. Of course, it can't do things in the physical world, but it can get a computer to do very complex things. And software is this super powerful, you know, way to like control some stuff and actually do some things. So that, that for me has been the most striking. Um, it's gotten, it's much better at writing. So this is like, there's this whole thing of AI slop, like AI writes in this kind of like quite annoying way. And M dashes. And that we still have the M dashes and GPT-5. A lot of people like the M dashes. But the writing quality of GPT-5 is gotten much better. We still have a long way to go. We want to improve it more. But like, uh, I've, a thing we've heard a lot from people inside of OpenAI is that, man, they started using GPT-5. They knew it was better on all the metrics, but there's this like, nuanced quality they can't quite articulate but then when they have to go back to gpt4 to test something mm. it feels terrible <laughs> and i i don't know exactly what the cause of that is but